Alright, I'm back with another post-commentary game. Uh, we're going first here. we got an American Red Star in the tray. That's a good pick. We don't really have a, a strong wetland option here, though, so that's kind of bad. I'm not really too impressed with anything in my hand. The Cedar Waxwing is pretty decent, and the White-Throated Swift is decent. But without some form of strong card drawing, it's going to be hard to keep those birds fed. Going to go with the swift here and keep the standard food spread. And I'm going to grab that red start out of the tray. It's a really good forest bird to start the game with. Kind of helps with the round one goal. Swift helps with the round two goal. And I'm going to go with the pygmy nut hatch here with the focus on trying to build out that forest and maybe accumulate some food toward that round goal. And we see the red-breasted mergans are pop up, so that's our saving grace. We really needed a strong wetland card draw bird like that. So now the goal is to get the red star down, gain the food needed for the merganser, and get that down so we're in a strong position to draw any good cards that pop up in the tray. kind of deliberating on my food choice here. I need a worm and it didn't pop up. Taking a lot of time to think about this. And I do get rid of the swift here in the interest of forcing down this merganser. There we see an opposing Ruddy Duck pop up for Red Rogue. And there we get our worms that we need. Since they pop up in the bird feeder, I take the time to gain them there. And all this excess food I'm accumulating is helping toward the wrong goal, so it's kind of a silver lining of not getting what we need when we take that gain food action. Now we finally get that Merganser down. Sauron has a Moltoni's Warbler, so he's going to have a Moltoni's game here. Chumko is a decent card. It's going to fill in for that White Throated Swift we got rid of earlier. Really thinking hard about this Junko. And the net catcher is probably going to go here. And we win that wrong goal. Nothing devastating in the tray here. comes back around. I need some eggs, but I'm going to throw it on this Junko. Actually, I'd take some cards first. Sandhill Crane combos with the Junko. Get rid of that Cormorant. Not really great at this point in the game. So we've got the looming Junko Crane combo here. Griffin Vulture could be good with any looming predator strategy, but there doesn't seem to be much of that. And here's where I need eggs, and then I realize that I should just throw down this Junko to improve my lay egg action. And it helps with the wrong goal. There we see a bee eater from Red Rogue, so that's getting a little scary. And Sarantol and Endure Tiki aren't mounting much of a wetland card draw, so they might be stalling out a little bit. Get rid of the Griffin Vulture here. We've got three wheat 
for the crane, but uh, looks like I'm thinking about playing the chickadee here. Could play the chickadee and gain more wheat for the crane. But if I remember correctly, I think I actually opt to not play the chickadee and just go for the wheat. Yeah, and that's what I do here. Save that tempo. Because I'm going to transition now to the crane in the grasslands. And I'm not going to be going to the forest that much more often here. So there's no point in playing that low point value bird if I'm not going to be running my forest. There we see a storm petrel. It's a good wetland bird. Red Rogue is pushing this round goal. There we got a raven. It's going to be a round three raven. And that can still put in some work for us, especially with a sandy oak crane. And we have a common swift here. Also combos well with the raven. Black throated diver is good, but at this point, I don't know that we need too many more cards. There is a rat in the bird feeder. So we're going to gain that rat that we need for the raven and pick up the extra wheat for the future Sandy Hill Crane. Like I'm having second thoughts here. Hold on to the coal tit just because it has such a large nest. It looks like I'm thinking about playing that diver here. That's why I went for the fish. Had second thoughts about that diver. Red Rogue wins that goal. There's a yellow throat in the tray. Someone might want that. So now we gotta start getting these birds down. Round three, we gotta start making things happen. Plenty of wheat on deck for the crane. But we're going to burn through a lot of that, just getting the crane and the raven down on the board. But we still have a surplus there. So now we got the power crane on deck. Red knot is always a good bomb. Gonna go out of my way to grab that. Painted bunting, also a good bomb. And we're probably not gonna worry too much about wrong goals at this point. Just wanna run this grassland engine as much as possible. We're running out of time in our game here. deliberating about the bonus conversion. Really should use that all the time because you're turning one egg into two food. You're turning one food into one egg and you're turning that one egg into two food. And every wheat is two points on the crane. Free cherry, that's welcome. Swift is going to go down. Picking up the worms for the red knot play. Looks like I'm having some second thoughts, grabbing an extra wheat, planning well for the future. Making sure I always have that wheat available for the crane. 
looking at the painted bunting play in the future as well. A little bit of a glitch there. Red Rogue coming in strong on these wrong goals. So here comes the bunting. And a nice six point bird counter. There's a blue throat, so we might have some extra food coming our way here. Throw away that cherry for an extra egg. Spread our eggs around in case we see Oologist. And I don't think I used the bonus conversion there. I should have done that. I think I uh, conned myself into being too worried about the wheat. Very strong board from Red Rogue. And it looks like Sarantol is putting together a Predator game here. So that Vulture might have been decent, but our Grassland is full now and I'm not uh, dissatisfied with losing that Vulture. Got some pretty good cards. Here comes the Red Knot. And a decent four point enclosure builder. Good pull. Thinking about the shoveler as a bomb. White Stork shows up. House Sparrow is also good, but our grassland is full. And there's really not much of a choice here. I kind of deliberate a bit on this, but it doesn't really matter. White Stork is a potential bomb in the wetlands. But don't really have time to get the food and throw that down. Yeah, I spent too much time thinking about that. So a very cool vulture magpie play there from Endure Tiki to counteract Sarantol's predators. Yeah, here I should definitely use the bonus conversion, but I don't think I do that. I'm worried about keeping the wheat for the crane, but if you just kind of sit and do the math, you can actually come out ahead one worm here uh, to feed to the swift at the end of the game, so you could get that wheat back plus the worm. Those bonus conversions are always great when you have a raven and one of those uh, discard food to tuck birds. Nice big golden eagle from Red Rogue. Three tucks on it. Here we see a forest raven from Sauron so that might be an ecologist play. Where he's going toward the filled columns goal. Sauron seems to like to push those wrong goals very hard. Finally, managed to realize to use the bonus conversion here. Turning one worm into two worms here for the Swift. No card for the Junko, but that's how it goes sometimes. Three more points on the Swift at the end. Here I'm expecting a bird in the wetlands off the Moltoni's Warbler. It's always a scary prospect. What's it gonna be? And a wood stork. That's very scary. Nice big bonus bird. 
That could be a game-winning play. Red Rogue and Salernitol are tied on the wrong goals. Alright, if you like that four-player action, do me a favor and hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And let's see how it goes here. Salernitol and I do really well on bonus cards. Red Rogue comes back on the wrong goals. And on the eggs. And here comes the Tux. Our saving grace. And we won that one. Stick around and see what their boards look like here. Check out their bonus cards. Got a maxed out diet specialist there. Good anti-predator strat. Food web. Backyard birder. Six point omnivore. Ten point rodentologist. And missed out on the last bird for large bird there. So that, uh, I think Serentol told me that wood stork was a 13 point play for him there.